Hey there, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now, it seems that I might be becoming the world's leading keyboard stand aficionado, although I'm not entirely sure we actually needed one of those, but it seems I'm getting that way. Today, we're finally taking a look at the stands from a company called Stay, based in Brazil. Now, full disclosure, they did send me these stands free of charge so that I could make this video, and they haven't told me what to say, but they did ask for some feedback on the stands, and they haven't seen this video before the upload. Now, before we get stuck into the video, I'd just like to remind you to like, comment below on your experience if you've used these stands before, and subscribe if you aren't already, because that really helps the channel out. So, Stay have sent me two of their stands to check out in this video. Now, the first one is their Piano 1200-02 model, and the second is the Compact model. Let's break down the specs quickly. So, the Piano 1200-02 model comes with a carry case and the legs and arms all stored in these nice pockets. Setting up is pretty straightforward. The legs snap into the bracket neatly, and the arms just sit in place with a little movement. But as soon as you put a keyboard on, it's very sturdy. As you can see, there are two levels on this model, allowing you the space for two keyboards, both of which could easily be like 88 note models. Really great for comparison videos. Now the top level also has space for the arms to be moved inward, allowing you to place a laptop or smaller pieces of musical equipment like drum machines or pretty much anything really. This stand is light, like ridiculously light. It weighs less than seven kilos, so carry it in is easy, and because it's made of aluminium, it's strong enough for any keyboard you can think of. One thing I would say is that the lightness of these stands brings with it more inherent wobbliness than other column-based stands that I've used before. So if you're rocking out hard, you might find this a little bit unnerving. The two levels are fully adjustable for both seated and standing positions, and it comes in a wide range of colors, so great if you want to personalize your stage setup. Now, finally, Stay make a range of accessories that work with this stand in particular. There's a gooseneck mic holder, a tablet holder, and a sheet music stand, and we'll talk about those in a bit. Now, moving on to the compact model, it also comes with a carry case and weighs in at just two kilograms, making it the lightest keyboard stand I've ever used, and the easiest by far to carry into a venue. The legs and arms also store separately inside the bag and snap into place in the same way as the bigger brother. The stand is designed to be used by players in a seated position. However, people are maybe a bit more, let's say, vertically challenged, might find that they could quite easily stand to play with this as well. There's only space for one keyboard, but it can support up to 20 kilograms, which means most full-size keyboards will sit on it quite happily. Sadly, there's no incorporation for accessories on this stand, and it also comes in the same array of color options, which is good. One little side note, um, I did a little bit of testing on this and tried to put my whole body weight on it and slightly bent the back of the bracket. Um, so don't do that, don't do that. But I am over 100 kilos and that I think is like five times the weight limitation of this keyboard stand, so don't do what I did. Now, okay, look, so as far as both of these stands go, my general verdict is that I'm happy. I think they're really great, but I do have a couple of concerns. The general wobbliness of both of these stands concerns me. I think it's the price you have to pay for ultimate lightness. That being said, in all my testing, none of the keyboards ever felt like they were actually gonna fall off of the stand. So I, I think unless you're playing like Jerry Lee Lewis, you should be fine. My other big concern relates to the accessories that you can buy separately. If I'm honest, I wouldn't advise anyone to buy these. Um, they don't seem well thought out or well designed and I don't know, I just kind of feel like they were an afterthought. However, one interesting thing, when I noted these concerns to my contact at Stay Music, they were very quick to let me know that there are some new products in the pipeline, so I'd be really excited to see those and put them into practice as well. Okay, now that we've got the cons out of the way, I want to talk about the pros. Starting with the lightness. 
It really is so handy to have a stand that is so light. My K&M Spider Pro is really bulky and heavy, and although that makes it quite sturdy, I do sometimes wish it was easier to carry into gigs. I also really love the look of these stands, they're great. The piano model is definitely more at home in a studio setting or as part of a stage in like a recital hall. I can't really see myself using it for gigs, but that's what the tower and the slim models are made for. Now, onto the compact model. This is the real secret sauce of Stay's work. The stand is so easy to carry in with you and to set up, it's almost a no-brainer. I only have a few niggling points I'd love to see improved on this stand. Number one, make it taller. If I could use it in a standing position, it would instantly become my main stand of choice. Number two, give it some threads for adding mic stands or tablet holders, things like that. It'll just make it so much more useful. And then number three, I'd love it if the legs didn't actually have to come off of the column of the stand. I'm kind of imagining some kind of like camera tripod system where they folded up in on itself. That would just be amazing for me. That would be the ultimate stand, to be totally honest. To sum things up, I like Stay and what they're doing with their stands. They are simple, elegant, and a great solution for someone looking for a light option for a column stand. My favorite by a country mile is the compact model. But the piano model will be taking up permanent residence in my loft studio from now on. Now, there are some problems, but I haven't come across a single keyboard stand in existence that offers all things to all people. So good job, Stay. Just finally, if you decide to buy one of these stands, then I'd love it if you could use the affiliate links below. It really helps me continue to make these videos and doesn't cost you any extra either. Thanks for watching guys, and don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and why not leave me a comment as well, letting me know what you thought about this video. Until the next one, peace.